That's good. You're the only Chuck, I think, probably. It should be. That's the way it should be. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Point. You know, I, I thought I'd start off with something you probably haven't heard yet today. So, uh, just the comeback. Brilliant. Loved it. Made me so, my gut hurt every time I watched it. It's a shame they took it off the air. Yeah, I know. The comeback was quite an item, wasn't yeah, it? It was I, a really specific vision. Lisa Kudrow was a genius. I just don't think people got it. I think it was ahead of its time. And you know yeah. what's great is sometimes when things are, you know, people didn't yeah. get sex in the city up front either. You know, the first season people were like, oh, it's those girls and they're, they're having a lot of sex and they're drunk. Yeah. And they're in shoes. And if you stay with something and you have the right people driving, it right. can grow into something. And I think you got it because you, you yeah. understood it. But. Right. Yeah. And I, and I watched every episode of, of Sex and City. I, I, I liked it from the beginning. I, maybe I just under, I understand your vision. I don't know. <laughs> I understand what's going on. But I wasn't prepared for the twists and turns in this movie. Yeah. I thought I was going to come in here and just laugh and have a light heart at all. It's great to see the, my old friends back and so forth. And then the, there's just such a roller coaster ride. It was, a, it was important to me to make a roller coaster ride because it's a movie. I don't want to sit and do Cosmo jokes for two hours and some, you know what I mean? You've got to have a story. And the characters have grown so complicated from the series, six years of the series. They went through a lot of heartache and a lot of disappointment. So how could the movie not have a, a big emotional palette? Yeah. Um, did anybody figure out or write or how many I, I'm sorry there are in this movie? Yeah. There's a lot. <laughs> I don't, I, this, this seems to me, I'm sorry is a word that you say a lot in relationships. I know, you know, think about all the times you right. say I'm sorry. Sometimes you really mean it, sometimes you really don't. Yeah. But I'm sorry, love and forgiveness is a big theme of the movie because with love comes hurt feelings and disappointments and with forgiveness comes love. So it's a big helix. Was it easy to just recreate this world? I mean, you left it so long ago. Uh, the world was impossible to recreate. I mean, Carrie's apartment alone has every item that it had six, you know, six years on the series. But after the series, it was all destroyed. So they had to recreate the blueprints. Her desk is a feature in the Smithsonian, in the television wing. Sarah Jessica Parker had to write a letter to the, to the curator yeah, of the Smithsonian. Yeah, they don't give things they up. They don't give yeah. it back. So we got it back, and she had to guarantee them that they would get it back. And now her computer, this time, they asked for the computer. So that was the give. Oh, okay. We'll give you the desk. <laughs> we get the desk and the computer. Uh, a little tricky there. So what about, though, I mean, Technology and not technology, but paparazzi. Everything has evolved in the last oh, four years. The amount of uh, there are so many ways people could capture these images before it got into the theater. It was mm -hmm. phenomenal. I'd look behind me and I'd see someone with a with a camera, and then I would look on the news that night on an entertainment show, and I'd see the scene I had shot before I'd even seen the dailies. <laughs> not to mention people running into shots early on. With I'm like, there's Carrie, Mr. Big, and someone on a phone, <laughs> exactly. going like that. Yeah. So eventually we got hip to the fact that it was kind of a containable well, thing. And that brings up another point too, because I want to so desperately talk to these ladies and you about things that we can't give away in this yeah. movie. And how do you keep some some these major plot lines that big of a secret? Like we, we briefly covered it there. I mean You know, part of the the fact that people are calling this as an event is because there's still an ending that no one knows. And so we did some major filming of things that are not in the movie that were never going to be in the movie. Oh. And also there are some scenes that were we filmed inside that would have been outside and would have been given away in a second. Oh, okay. But so far People yeah. are still going to yeah. the movie uh, not knowing exactly, like you, not yeah. knowing exactly what they're going to get. I, uh, I've, I've, I've camouflaged everything by saying, like, I, I teared up several times in this movie. Like, I can say, like, I teared up at the Brooklyn Bridge scene. Nobody knows what it is. Yeah, right. I teared up at the New Year's song. Uh, or yeah, or yeah. I teared up when somebody got beat up by flowers. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's my way of uh, I, You know, the interesting thing about the New Year's, uh, you teared up at emotional moments. I mean, yeah. what's... When I was doing the series, I always wanted to do, the movie spans a year. I don't know if anyone knows that, but the movie actually spans a year. And when we were doing the series, I always had this question in my mind, what's the worst holiday to be single? And in the movie, I get to explore the idea of New Year's Eve. Yeah. Because, you know, it can, be, it can be a heartbreaker, but that's good drama. I don't want to leave this room, but I have oh, to. Oh, thanks. Thank you so thanks much. Thanks so much, Chuck. Right, Teared up. Yeah. <laughs>